Hello and welcome back everyone to your YouTube channel Technology of Future. In this video tutorial, what we'll be doing is we'll be converting the procedural textures generated in Blender into image textures and we'll be applying it on other objects as well. Right. So this video is kind of a complete walkthrough of how you create a small demo uh, procedural texture and then how you bake it, how you like import it as an image texture back again in Blender. Right. So let's start. So we'll be needing the light, right? Definitely, but not a point light. We'll need a uh, area light. An area light with about 500 watt as the power. We'll be requiring a camera as well, but we'll use it at some other place, right? Now we'll just select the view and then hit Alt plus zero on the numpad. What it will do is it will snap the camera to the view that we have right now, right? So we'll definitely not be requiring that square or cube right now just hit shift a mesh uv sphere right now the sphere is kind of uh, blocky right now right so we'll add the modifier which is called subdivision modifier then we'll increase its value so that it looks real smooth and then hit shade smooth right so you can't really tell whether it's made up of straight faces or not right so well, when this is done, just select the object, hit Ctrl A, and click on Visual Geometry to Mesh. Now what it will do, it will apply all the modifiers that you have attached to the object, right? So yes, this is quite an easy way instead of like clicking on every apply button again and again, right? So once you have actually made the object, now the next thing we want is select the object, go to like the menu where the materials are there, click on add add a new material sphere procedural right name it whatever you want i'm naming it sphere procedural now once you have created the material then head back to shading tab right this is the shading tab where you can see the object right here select zero on the numpad so that we see the viewport right these are the two nodes that are created one is the output one other one is the basic principle node right now suppose if we want a wavy kind of a texture so what we'll do is we'll press shift a <coughs> we'll search for color ramp there you go color ramp drag it here add another pointer to it now select this pointer and change the color to somewhere around light blue then select this pointer and do it dark blue selecting this pointer just change color to a bright dark blue right so these are the three shades that will be there in our wave you can actually add more if you want like kind of a white for like uh, waves and foam kind of thing in the waves right you can do that for now we are not focusing on that right then what we want we want a noise texture as well so this is the noise texture the factor goes in the vector and the color goes into the color. so this is what it looks like now you can definitely change it change it how you can change it like this if you want your wave to be more light blue kind of thing like that you can do that you can change the roughness you can change the scale how much when defined you want it let's just fix it to 20 right and you can definitely change the detail as well well that is very fine you don't want that you want it to be like yes this is kind of good right yep so that's for the coloring part right now what we want we want it to have some bumps over it so we will click shift a again we will select the bump node right we'll go back down here right now with the bump node just plug the normal into the normal and you will see that nothing is really changing right well because it's not having a noise texture to it right so we definitely have to have a noise texture strength and uh, is it working now yeah so there you go
Right. So you see, this is how you add the noise texture to it. Now, in order to make it more uh, perfect, what we will do is we'll add a normal map node so that we can convert this color into a normal. Right. This should look like this. It's like it's really quite scary right now but we can definitely adjust the strength right so this is what it looks like kind of a golf ball type thing but yeah this is actually good that's actually what we want right so once we have uh, actually prepared our procedural texture what we will do we will just select the object which we have already selected hit tab right this will open the edit mode now with edit mode we'll press 3 on the keyboard so that we can select all the faces instead of vertices right and then hit u on the keyboard so that we can unwrap them now while unwrapping there are a number of options i suggest you do the smart uv project because it's quite nice right yeah that's the only reason then we definitely want some island margin between them between those images right so we'll just select it to 0 0.05 you can do any value but remember that you definitely need some margin between them between those images right so yeah definitely select it and hit ok now we have unwrapped this object and it should look like this right this is what the unwrapped object should look like right so with unwrapping also done what we will do is we'll first we'll go back to the object mode right then just go to render properties select cycles and if you have a gpu then do use a gpu while uh, actually baking it because it's quite fast and it puts a lot less load on the cpu right so definitely use a gpu i would recommend it then just select the bake option right here now in the bake type you have to click on diffuse for now because right now what we are doing is we are baking the texture for the colors right later on we'll be doing it for the normal as well so then at that time we'll select normal but right now we'll select diffuse view from above surface we'll disable the lighting because we definitely want the lighting to be dynamic not static right they should react to the lighting according to the physics right according to the normals so yeah we'll deselect them and since we have the target as image texture so we need a separate image texture in here right this node should not be connected to any other node right it should be an isolated one now just click on new name whatever you want it i'll name it sphere procedural just to make it quite obvious that this texture is a procedural map width and height it's based on the resolution how detailed resolution you want you can go to 2k 4k but definitely the baking time will depend on it. Higher the resolution, more the pixels to render, more the pixels to bake, which means definitely more time to get the process done. Right? Color can be black, it can be anything, everything same, 32 bit, and click OK. So after you get these settings, just go ahead to color space and change it to sRGB from linear. Now this part is done. Select it. You have to select it, you have to select the object, and then you have to click bake. Right, remember you have to select both of these and then you have to click bake. It's going to take some time depending on the machine that you are using. Now it's done, right? It's done right here. This image is like right now it's in the cache memory, cache memory of Blender, right? It's not really saved anywhere. So the first thing we'll do is we'll save it somewhere and we'll save it with the same name as a PNG. You can like export it in any form that you want i'll go with the png and hit save right now with the textures imported we are all good the next thing that we want to import is or maybe the next thing that we want to export is a normal just select normal the rest everything will be same this will also be same right and hit bake <clears throat> Okay, we have to select the object. It says no valid object selected. So we have to select the object first. Then we'll have to select the node. Then hit bake. This again will take some time. This is how it will look. Image. Now you have to click save as and save it as a normal. Right. Save it as a normal. 
save as that's it now it's all done right you might be a bit surprised but yes it's all done right now now as you can see in the materials tab this sphere is currently having the procedural material right we don't want that we'll just cross it click a new material add a new material and name it sphere image texture okay all right now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and find this option called base color click on this yellow circle and like make it an image texture right and click open then desktop just where you save the texture the color file you have to select that file and hit open what it will do it will open this uh, color file right now next like before doing anything just go back and click on ev right the cycles take a lot of hours so yeah just do that first right so we have the colors now what's missing is the normal right the only thing that's missing is the normal how do you import that it's very really, it's very simple just find this normal option right click on this purple dot or circle whatever you want to call it and look out for a normal map now with normal map as an option it will give you around four of these options which it says strength color tangent space and everything in the colors we will select this yellow dot and click on image texture right there you go now with this image texture we'll just open the normal image or maybe the normal map image which you just saved and click on open image and there you go you have the sphere with normals yeah now since we have this sphere right now and we have two materials right one is with the image and one is with the procedural one so we can definitely see they are similar right right now where does the difference lies well let me show you if i export this as an fpx with the procedural texture let me show it copy paste the textures right everything is nice selected objects and we'll export it as procedural dot fpx right export it to desktop export right and now if we do the same thing but with the image texture file export fpx copy and all right that's fine image texture right export now here we'll see the main difference this is the procedural one with nothing at all right we did so much of hard work and it has nothing actually on it that's the problem with procedure now with image texture we don't really have that problem you see we have literally everything we have these normals we have the color see everything is here right plus it's like really light and we can definitely export it to games as it is right now so this is kind of a problem that actually blender should be working on to remove in the few like in the later versions but yeah until then we can definitely use this way to actually export them right so if you like if you really liked the tutorial if you learned something through it and if it really helped you then you can definitely click on the like button and on that subscribe button yes because yeah it really motivates me and this way i can like bring more tutorials to you right and with better quality as well so yes that's it for today's tutorials guys and see you in the next tutorial that's it tata bye bye